Hi Lulzbot, this is Younes and here is your uh, pre-assembled test jig for Rambo 1.3. So these would be the uh, components that I will be shipping to you. So we have the controller board here, we have the jig tower, we have the base plate and a few small accessories. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the controller from here and we're going to place it on this uh, PCB here making sure that the uh, USB port points towards this little thing here like this just insert it and it should fit nicely and there it is the second step we'll take these small spacers and we'll put them on the corners this is to prevent the the controller PCB from touching the metal from the nut on the board here and then we're going to place the four rods on the holes in the board. So we have the four holes over here, right? And the placement needs to be with the motors uh, towards the wires here, and this small board towards this one here. So it should be fairly simple. We'll just hold the, spl the placer so they don't fall off, then we insert the rods into the holes and in it goes. Then we just go to the opposite side and you can use the M3 nuts to secure everything. Like so. I'm not going to tighten them at this moment and it's not required for the demonstration video All right. so now we have the base system here with the tower installed so we're going to be plugging this here making sure all the pins are aligned and we're just going to insert it on top of the other board there you go then we need to connect these wires here so we have two sets of wires. We have the motors with the uh, colored wires and we have the white wires which are the opto end stops on the motors. So I've separated the opto end stops into a six by one connector and the motors uh, and the um, power and ground into a three by two and a two by two connector. And I've marked in blue the ground and in red the wires that are VCC. So we're going to first take the 2x2, two two, the small one, we're going to insert it over here on the left side and it's going to go in here uh, at the edge of the X2 connector and we're just going to insert it right here. Okay. And next we're going to take the 6x2 and push it right this way into the X2 connector. And finally, the last power wire is going into the MX connector right here.
finally we're going to connect the motors to the tower so it's pretty obvious they are all ordered so X Y Z and E0 and E1 so here's Z E0 and E1 and it's fully assembled now all it needs is to connect the power so the power supply will have these connectors so the first one here goes on this side to the power connector pogo pins make sure we don't connect it the wrong way and we make sure that we don't have half of the pins connected and the other ones not because it's a little bit loose in there and my personal opinion is that you would need to use some hot glue to make sure that the connector doesn't come off because when you start inserting boards on the uh, jig it will often come a little bit loose like so and it will stop working but for shipping I'm not going to glue it there so just glue it once you receive it and you connect it and then the this connector with only the uh, ground connected to it goes into the uh, controller here at the bottom and finally the green wire to control the uh, power supply will go on this small pin here it might be hard to see it's going to be loose but it's it's okay it will do its job and that's it the assembly is finished and we can start testing it we just need to connect the USB here to the controller and connect it to the PC and finally connect this other USB to the PC as well which will allow us to start placing boards onto the jig without having to connect the USB directly to it and finally the top part goes here you just push it down slightly and that's it and if you want to test let's do a quick test here supply and it's flashing the firmware it's testing and the test is done and it's flashing the Lulzbot TAS 4.1 firmware uh, the latest version that you have on uh, the download website and the whole process of testing one board takes approximately uh, 50 seconds, maybe less, and the bar supply will turn off automatically. Then you can remove the, the board from it. Overall result successful, the board is in perfect condition. Thank you.